debate over gun control has returned to the state house tonight with the governor and several other officials taking part in a rally pushing for gun safety laws. Iowa News reporter Steph Machado joins us now live from the state house with the details that are new at six. Raimondo is continuing to push lawmakers to take action on three gun control bills, a ban on assault weapons, a limit on the capacity of magazines, and a bill to ban guns in schools. Now, all three of these bills have been introduced in the past and have not moved forward. The governor tells me she hopes changes made to the bills this year and support from the state's new attorney general may make a difference. One minute we were having the time of our lives, and the next we were just trying to save our lives. Rhode Islander Erica Cuter survived the Las Vegas mass shooting back in 2017. And I saw the carnage that one person can do with these firearms, all of which were legally owned. She spoke at the Advocacy Day at the State House for Moms Demand Action for Gun Sense in America. Its national founder, Shannon Watts, flew to Rhode Island from Colorado to be there. She founded the group after the Sandy Hook shooting. Many of our volunteers are gun owners or they're married to gun owners. Um, this is in no way about undermining the Second Amendment. This is just about restoring the responsibilities that go along with gun rights. I think only serves one purpose, and that's to further an agenda which is anti-Second Amendment. State Rep Michael Chippendale doesn't think banning assault style rifles will stop gun violence. As long as firearms exist, criminals will find a way to get their hands on them through illegal means. We're going to fight until we pass it. If it doesn't happen this year, we'll be back next year. If not next year, the following year. Governor Raimondo's three gun bills have an uphill battle. The House Speaker and Senate President are Second Amendment supporters. An assault weapons ban has been proposed year after year without a vote. Are you confident that if this bill were to get a vote today on the House floor that it would pass? Yes. Wow. Mm -hmm. But let's see. No reason not to try. Put, the, put, put it out there. And all three of these bills have been heard by the House Judiciary Committee. There is no vote scheduled in that committee. On the Senate side, I'm told all three will be heard next Tuesday night by the Senate Judiciary Committee. Live at the State House, I'm Steph Machado, Eyewitness News.